All right, I've got my uh, jig set up for working on the head. I'm going to do the skulls. I'm going to probably only have time to do one today. Um, I've uh, taken uh, drawings from a book I have uh, of the uh, head of the horse, and I've uh, uh, printed them out the size the head should be for the this horse. And uh, I show on my video on creating a horse from scratch, I show how to do that, and I show the program, uh, the video, or the uh, publishing program that I use to do that with. And uh, it really is helpful to get the proportions right for something like this. It automatically scales everything down. Time to play with some clay. I also have another ace in the hole, uh, an actual skull that I painted to look like clay. Um, it just shows the shadows good, but uh, it gives me a feeling for the uh, structure of the skull of the horse. The horse's skull is so close to the surface of the uh, horse's face that you really have to have a good uh, foundation for the muscles in the face of the horse. And uh, that's, uh, that's something worth having. And I've got it mounted on a turntable so I can turn it. And it just gives me a three-dimensional view of uh, the horse's head. Now, I'm going to try to keep the head in the middle of the camera. It's going to be hard to do that. Let's just make sure I'm doing that. First of all, but I can't guarantee I'm going to be able to. I'm just going to prepare the uh, clay a little bit. I think I better get me a little bigger. Wire tool. Now, again, I'm going to be doing this head um, out of uh, monster clay. And uh, we'll see how that turns out. Again, I've used wire to line up the eyes. You don't want one eye lower or further ahead than the other eye. And so that's how I do it. I wish I could show you more of what I'm going to do, but uh, all I can do is give you little snippets, and uh, I do cover all this on my instructional DVDs, and uh, you, there's a link to a review of each of my nine DVDs I have offered down in the uh, video description below this video. All right, I'm going to get back to work on this and I'll be back in a few minutes.
you really got to be precise on the uh, head. And that's because it's so close to the surface. The skull is. All right, I've got uh, the jaw sketched in somewhat. I'm not worried about getting it exact right now. I'll get to that next week. I'm just, uh, I had to cut away part of the armature uh, that kind of in started interfering. Uh, this, cl this clay is strong enough to hold its shape without all that uh, support in it anyway, so. Um, I'll work on that jaw a little bit more next time. The uh, art walk is in just a little about an hour or so before I have to leave, so I can't continue working. I've got to uh, call it quits for now. And uh, I'm not going to be videoing me working on the other horse's skulls, only because uh, I can't show you much, and... Uh, it's uh, hard to video anyway because it's such a small and it's sticking out here and every time I turn it, it, get, it, it takes it out of the camera or out of, you know, view. Uh, so I'm just going to call it quits on that and uh, come back uh, next week uh, with hopefully the other two skulls finished. All right. Good night, everybody, and I'll uh, see you next time. Have a great weekend. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.